I am on the radio, I am on the radio, etc. Um, hi everybody, welcome to the Radio Man Show. I am Radio Man, the radio man that is on the radio. And, um, and this, this, is, this is Culture Dog. Hi, I'm a culture dog. Welcome. Today, we are going to be cultured and, and talk about um, great, great novels like like um, well, well, we, we we could talk about popular great novels. Like um, there's there's the strange case of Doctor Jekyll and Mister Hyde by Robert Louis Stevenson. Bob Stevenson, no, no, not not you. And and then it's an awkward moment um, because I didn't put my hand in the puppet. Um, yeah, I, I, I I'm not gonna let Bob Stevenson. Bob Stevenson has kind of been taking over the show lately, and. Um, I'm, I'm starting to think I might be developing a split personality, so um, I'm going to let um, regular old culture dog um, take take over the show. Cause cause you're you're a good dog, aren't you? You wouldn't take over the show, would you? No. Today on the Culture Dog Show, starring Culture Dog. Hey, I see what you're doing there. We are going to be doing. Hey, what's what's today's movie? Voyage to the Prehistoric Planet, um, starring ba Basil Rathbone. Um, does that sound very cultured, culture dog? No. No, not 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 very cultured. Um, well, Basil Rathbone, he's a pretty cultured guy. He's in all kind of culture-y movies. Yeah, yeah, I, I guess so. Um, so let's let's voyage to the prehistoric planet. You you be a, uh, accompanied by your your lovely assistant, Benicula. Hi, I'm your lovely assistant. Ah, uh, we, we really need to get some girls on this program. Yeah, I, I know. I'm, uh, I'm pretty lonely. Um, yeah, yeah, me too. I spend most of my days on the internet, you know, just reading, checking websites, checking my email, don't get any email, check it again, check it a hundred thousand times a day. My name is Radio Man. I have no life. I have no girlfriend. I have not slept with anyone since 2002. Unless you count, let's not count. Oh boy. Um, that, that is really horrifying, seeing, seeing, being insulted by, by a puppet dog. These dogs have eyes that just, they just stare right through you. And I just, I just can't take this sort of self-analysis. You know, I'm, um, I'm, I'm turning 30. You're turning 30. And, um, and, it, and these, these are the times when, when a man's heart turns to, to thoughts of love. And, and with the help of my lovely female assistant, Benicula, I, I, would, like to, um, I would like to talk about the women here on the, on the prehistoric planet, okay? Um, so we're talking like... Raquel Welch as a cave woman in a in a loin you know like a, like a sexy bikini right well well no actually hold your horses there culture duck because because the the women of the prehistoric planet if we're assuming that earth is the prehistoric planet um, or that this prehistoric planet is anything like earth then you know the women wouldn't really have been very much to look at not, not even in a, in a National Geographic sort of way. I mean, the, these, these women were pretty ape-like. Um, and, and so the real question is, um, what, what kind of standards do I have right now? I mean, how, how humanoid would the women of the prehistoric planet have to be for, for me to, to sleep with them? I mean, like, let's say if, if the woman was actually an ape, like, you know, it was like just a gorilla um, and hadn't evolved any humanoid features. Would I sleep with a gorilla? Well, no, I, I don't think I would sleep with a gorilla. But let's say you start getting a little more human. Like, it's just a little gorilla. Like, it's mostly gorilla, but there's a little bit of a lady in there. Like, would I go for that? Like, where on the sliding scale... Do, do, are my standards so low that I would sleep with a gorilla woman? And I mean, considering some of the women I have slept with in in in, in my life, I'm you know I, th I I would accept a little gorilla. I I mean I I have to say it. I've slept with with kind of hairy women who who didn't have you know the best hygiene. Um, and uh, I I I think I think that you know fair play. 
So we're going to voyage to the prehistoric planet and we'll just, you know, we'll, we'll hope um, we, can, we can find love because, you know, say what you will, but these, these gorilla women, they, they, they care, you know, they, 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 they see me for, for what I am. Um, you know, a source of meat and protein that they can bash over the head with a rock and then eat for, for, for a meal. And, you know, you, you, know what you, you know where you stand with the prehistoric women, and uh, I, I really respect that. Anyway, um, moving on to our, to our next movie. Really? I didn't even get any lines. Oh, you, you, were, you were a prehistoric woman. Really? Oh, so... I would have had to be a monkey and date you. Yeah, yeah, n yeah, no, that, that's, that's not gonna happen. Cause, cause you don't wanna be a monkey, right? Yeah, yeah, cause, cause I don't wanna be. Um, let's move on. The Iron Executioner, starring Judd Holdren. Actually, we got a lot of movies with Judd Holdren. That's, that's a little, he's got almost as many as Bob Stevenson. Bob Stevenson. Yeah, you know. That. Um, Judd Holdren starred in Contraband Cargo, Battle of the Rockets, Undersea Agents. These are really, really generic titles. But yeah, let, let's let's star in the uh, the Iron Executioner. Really? Uh cuz cuz I I thought contraband cargo sounded a little little more interesting like, you know, maybe we're we're smuggling something we shouldn't be No, actually that's not that interesting. Uh, so here's Contraband Cargo starring Judd Hold Hold Judd Holdren. Okay. You can't put that much liquid in your suitcase. Curses. Foiled again. Thank God we have these people here to pretend to fight terrorism. You've done a good job for America. No, no, you, you, no don't bite my nose. I'm Judd Holdren. Now, don't you start the Iron Executioner. Which, you know, that sounds a little bit like kind of a Terminator sort of situation where he's like, tsh, tsh, tsh. I am the Iron Executioner and I will execute you. But actually, this is, this is a surprising one. This is actually, Judd Holdren plays the guy who executes people made of iron. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm sorry, pal. Your, your iron content has been, uh, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's a little high. Yeah, you know, I, I, I get a lot of iron. I, uh, I, I eat, you know, I, I take my vitamins. Yeah, sorry, you, you, you're, you're going to have to be executed. Uh, no, that, that, does, that doesn't work either. Hey, this car, is this car made out of iron? Yes, um, I'm afraid this car is going to have to be executed. But, you know, maybe you could execute it for being like a murder car that murders. No, no, I'm, I'm just executing it because it's made out of iron. This is a really screwed up legal system, Judd Holdren. Yeah, I, I didn't make the system, man. Okay. Um, so anyway, the, the, next, the next Judd Holdren um, um, movie is called the, the Battle of the Rockets. Um, so, so yeah, we're, we're going to be doing, these are the rockets, which are bananas. And, um, and then they, they, they're, they're really not very happy with each other and a battle takes place. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I think we're pretty much done with that one. Ah, okay. Yeah, I, 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 I don't think that was unnecessary. Um, but look, can, can we, can we talk, Radio Man, can we just talk, you know, um, man to culture dog? Sure, sure, culture dog. It's, it, it's hard for me to say this. Oh, okay. Um, I slid a sheet, a sheet of slit, and on the slitted sheet I sit. See, I got it wrong. Let me try again. I slid a sheet, a sheet I slit, and on the slitted sheet I sit. Yeah, no, that's, that's, that was hard for me to say. Okay. I'm Judd Holdgren. Hold, Holdgren. To see my own name.